Go, 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 go. The viral Miniverse Make It Mini Foods holiday edition is finally in our hands. Many of you grains have been tagging me every whether it be on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or Instagram, I've been seeing your comments everywhere and thank you for being my eyes. As you can see here, there are three to collect. Usually they'd have three for holiday editions, just like we had with the Halloween miniverse. But now that I'm wiser, I know that I shouldn't be buying these online because you can't choose what you want. You can see on the box that we have three different projects, one of them being a peppermint hot chocolate type drink. And then it looks like it's a turkey or chicken dinner. I don't know, it's a roast turkey, I'm guessing. And then last but not least, a gingerbread type house. The only other time I've actually done a gingerbread type craft was so many years ago when I did a Mario themed castle gingerbread craft. If you want to see that video, very nostalgic, very old school nerdy crafter, I will link it down below. But each one of these cost me $15 plus tax Canadian. Kitty editor, go ahead and take out your calculator. Mm -hmm. How much is that in Canadian dollars? Mm -hmm. And for those of you who are not familiar with Miniverse Make It Mini Foods, they are basically tiny ingredients that you get in mystery boxes that you can turn into tiny foods. And we've done so many videos with these, I will leave a playlist down below. It is a really fun project to play around with. Not to mention, this is made with resin. And resin is a liquid when hardened turns into a glassy, plasticky type material. So I'm really excited to see what we get to do today. And the good thing about the holiday theme, even though there's only three to collect, they already tell you what's inside each of these mystery boxes. So you don't have to guess what's on the inside. So if we look here, you can see that there's the symbol of the drinks in the red part here. So we know that this one should have the drinks. Over here, we see a turkey dinner. So it should be all the way around in the red part. So this should be the turkey dinner. And this one has the gingerbread house. I hadn't known that about the Halloween edition, so I kind of did waste some money and buy it online thinking that it is a mystery. But if anyone tells you it's a mystery, it's not true. The holiday editions tell you what's inside, which is great. Let me know in the comment section below, which one of these are you the most excited about? I'm going to say it's the gingerbread house, but kind of the turkey too. I feel like the drinks usually end up being the same, so that's going to be the first one we're starting with. But you know what isn't the same? to this channel because I have sharp pointy thing. Okay, we all do all sorts of crafting and mystery boxes and exploring different things. Click on all notifications while you're there to make you a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. By the way, speaking of holidays, if you grains are still looking for a gift for the person that's crafty in your life, why not check out our craft kit of bare acrylic pour painting, where you can make your very own acrylic pour bear, keychain, or charm with everything, everything you need. In the kit, if you want to see a detailed video of what's inside, I will link it down below, and why not check out the video where me and my husband make our own bear challenges. All right, so here we're going to start with the candy cane peppermint drink. I want to see if there's a way for me to level this up and maybe even make the drink, if that's possible, floating in the air. I don't know. I'm just the baby. I'm gonna experiment where I can. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and open this. All right, so if anything I remember is that this is a pain in the butt to open. Let's try and see if they fix that problem. You can see that this tab is the worst thing ever. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try this. Voila, please open. So far, so good. Confetti! That was nice. And now for the second one. Come on, please, you can do it. I got you. Yes. Very nice. Perfect. And let's hear that pop. Very good. All right, let's see what we have in here. We have one, two. We have a stand, more stands. Three, my goodness, four, five, six. Six mysteries and doilies. Why do we have two doilies? Usually we get one doily thing, but okay, we have two. I guess we'll find out why. And then we have instructions. I guess if you want to scan this, you can, but I don't need no instructions. I'm a professional. I'm a professional that likes to mess things up. Don't do what I do, read the instructions. All right, so first things first, we do have a stand so that we can display our pieces. I'm a little disappointed this isn't as festive because the one with the Halloween, if we look at it again, here it is on the screen, they had different patterns on the top. Whereas this one's kind of plain, but it is a little bit on the gold side. I guess it's cool. So let's push that in here. Come on. You can do it. Please. Is that? No, that is not working. I give up. It's too hard. It's too hard. I have chronic pain. We're just going to leave it like that. That's it. No, I am not spending my muscles and my spoon I'm trying to fix you. Not easy. I'm not doing it. So basically, this is what our stand looks like. And let's go ahead and unbox the surprises because I know that it's going to be a specific project, but I don't know what's going to be on the inside. Our first one here says, have a merry day. And we have cute little gingerbread dudes. 
And you are, oh, look at that, tiny candy canes, my goodness. It does say candy canes. Let's go ahead and open and see it more closely. Ooh, so tiny, so little, so baby. Now, the question is, does it smell good? The answer is no, unfortunately not. Before you come at me and say, But Jakey, it's not going to smell nice because it's toxic. Stop it, stop. In the Make It Mini lifestyle, we had scented candles that actually smelled like birthday cake, so they could do it. There's no excuse, just say it. In you go. That sounded nice. Let's try that again. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh my goodness, is that Salty Crafter having a great time surrounded by dragons? Look at her, she's in her element, enjoying all the dragons, and the dragons are just there doing the thing. It comes as no surprise that even me, Nerdy Crafter, absolutely adores dragon. I've done so many different sculptures of different dragons or dragon-esque type characters. Which is why when I was approached by Dragon City for today's sponsorship, I said, yes, we belong together. You are now mine. And for those of you who don't know Dragon City, it is a free to download game where you can collect and hatch and evolve over a thousand unique dragons. So in addition to creating your own dragon empire, you can customize your own dream city with magical habitats, decorations, and buildings. And not only do you collect absolutely adorable dragons, you can engage in PvP battles with other dragon masters so that you can prove your dominance in this universe. And yes, they do have events such as the Wizard's Hollow, where you can unleash powerful dragons and skills to conquer the challenging quests. And one of the other great things about this game is that it does have a community where you can trade and collaborate in alliances. That way you unlock exclusive rewards. Speaking of exclusive rewards, why not check out the QR code over here or the pinned comment or description box for my link and download Dragon City for free and get a special bundle with 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and a very rare spaceship dragon to get you started. A huge thank you to Dragon City for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Next bag here says, happy holidays. We have a little snowman, very cute bags. And what are you? Marshmallows, that's cute. Are they soft? You know what, we're gonna open this later. I don't wanna have marshmallows all over my desk and then lose them all, but here it is. Cute little sun, and in the back, it says fluffiness 100%, total squish 100, and marshiness 100%, sure. This next bag says, yeah, says the same thing, so nothing different about this one. You are, oh, sprinkles. We have red and white sprinkles, so I'm guessing this is the same color as our candy cane. Okay, do you smell nice? No. So here's what they look like. I love the fact that you can sprinkle it out very slowly from the nozzle. Very cute. Can I even put these back in? And the answer is we try it. And here's what it looks like all the way around. And this one's a little long. Oh, it looks like here would be the utensils or whatever we need to mix the stuff with. And you are. Okay, we have golden tweezers. And then this is a decorative top for the box. Basically, it just you use it to close the whole gap like that. That's all it's for. Do we have anything else? Nay. Nee. Nothing. I'm surprised, I thought I would find a spoon. This one is chunky, so I'm guessing it's going to be either our resin or our cup. And it is our resin, <gasps> our milk. Oh my God, that is adorable. That is absolutely adorable. So we have our chocolate milk, and it's too bad that this doesn't open. The only way to open it is actually, let's just remove that tape, by twisting the top like so. Oh my goodness. There you go. That's cute. I really like this container. So this here must be our cup. What does this look like? It says, thank you. Have a merry day. That is really hard to see. Have a merry day. And it is indeed two cups. Look at that. And let's bring in our felt because everything is just white and bright in here or transparent. Here's what the cup looks like. It's very festive, very cute. Definitely something you would take out on special occasions. We do get two of them and they look exactly the same, very identical. And basically here is everything that we get on the inside. Candy cane and the marshmallows. Very cute. Okay, let's get doing. Let's do, do, do the doing of the do's. Huh? Let's make the hot chocolate. <laughs> so now it does make sense that we get two of these since we have two different cups, but let's go ahead and see the instructions that we have over here. This is for the gingerbread house, which we'll look at later. And here is our hot cocoa. Ah. And here's what they look like. So it looks like we have quite a bit around the upper rim, the candy cane, the marshmallows, and in the back. Okay, it looks like we can actually put some on the, yeah, they definitely want us to put on top and then halfway through add all the toppings, harden it in the sunlight, which we will not do because this is Canada winter. 
So I will be using my UV light because this is basically going to act as sunlight and it's going to help us cure the UV resin in about two minutes instead of 10. And then afterwards we can go ahead and top it off. So I think I want to do one of them in the same way of the instructions and the other one, let's get a little bit dramatic. All right, so first things first, we need to get our resin out like so. This is gonna be thick. Is this gonna work? Grains, I don't know if this is gonna work. I am waiting. Hello? I'm trying to squeeze this. Squeeze? Oh my good, oh my goodness, this is a nightmare. This is too thick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you can't squeeze the bottle because it's really solid. Do I just wait? Do I, hello? 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 I'm like squeezing one drop, please. This is terrible. This is really thick, oh my goodness. I'll be right back. All right, so I don't know what's going on, but I went ahead and put the tweezer things on the inside to see maybe there's an air pocket or something, but this is not working out. It's not hardened. I can tell you that. It is definitely soft on the inside, but it's just not coming out. Hello? So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm going to soak this entire bottle in some really hot water to see if we can get the resin to be very liquidy. So stay tuned. All right, so let's remove it from that hot bath. It should be warm enough on the inside now, and if it's not, then there's nothing I could do about this. Let's just make sure we don't have any water anywhere, because that's going to ruin the entire resin. And let's see, did that work? And the answer is, kind of, a little bit? No. This is ridiculous. $15 and I can't even get two chocolate milks. What's wrong with you, miniverse? Come on. I think we can make it. We just need it to get halfway and then we could do the other half. This is ridiculous. All right, let's put a little bit on the rim. They definitely want it on the... <laughs> can I even? Let's get some on the rim here. There you go. Voila. This is a mess. This is what they wanted. And I'm gonna put this upside down. And now we should be putting some sprinkles. So let's sprinkle that stuff like so. So far, so good. Not quite, but okay. We'll just take what we could get. And we add on a candy cane. So we're gonna put it like so, there. And now we're gonna take our UV light and shine it right on top. And we're just gonna wait two minutes. This is supposed to be the easiest project. I don't wanna see what the other resin's gonna be like. I've been keeping this upside down to hopefully be able to do the rest of it without being too much of a pain in the bum, but okay. It is just not it. It is just not it, please. Why do I have to beg hot chocolate? Never in my life did I think I was going to ever beg hot chocolate. But it's a thing now. Put that on your bingo card list, Jackie begging hot chocolate. Come on, please. Uh, uh. This is not working out. Even with a hot bath, there's just not enough in there. I'm going to go ahead and give this project a zero on 10. The items are absolutely adorable, but the resin is everything. If your resin, which I'm paying $15 for plus tax, is the thing that's not working in a resin mystery box craft kit, that's bad news. That is bad news. This is not working out. One eternity later. Oh, look at that. We're getting a clump. My goodness, something's coming out, finally. Is this good? I think that's it. I think, I think it is now empty. This is terrible. I have nothing else in here. What I wanted to do for the second one, <laughs> it's not gonna happen anymore, was I wanted to actually make a airborne milk pouring effect in the same way that we did the cereal. So here it is, a preview of a previous project that we did where we did like flying type effect. And I really wanted to do that with the milk carton. I think it would have been absolutely adorable. But we don't have that opportunity because this is empty now. So let's take out our marshmallows and hope that at least the marshmallows are good. Let's take these out. Oh my goodness. Super tiny. They even have the texture of erasers. So I'm hoping they're not gonna sink. So just to be ready, I'm gonna have my UV light good to go. I'm gonna drop a bunch of marshmallows on top. Do not sink. Do not sink. Go, 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 go. Save progress. <laughs> Save it! And so here is the hot chocolate. It is absolutely adorable. I am just really frustrated and a tad bit salty that this sweet dessert did not work. I mean, they kind of owe me a second one to make another cup. It really shouldn't have been full price. It's just, it's really terrible resin. But the project itself is cute. And I really would have loved to make a second one that was a little bit more leveled up. And now let's do the turkey. I'm really curious how this is going to turn out and what this resin is going to be for. Is it just going to glaze the turkey? I'm not sure, but let's see what we get. Let's get you opened up here, please. Why am I begging? Why am I begging these items to work? They should be working on their own. Right, let's get you. Voila. Very nice. Good. Huzzah! Second one. Beautiful. It's almost like it does 
have a tendency to, to work somehow. Let's hear that pop. Okay, not too bad. We have one, two, three, four, five surprises in here. And what is that? An envelope. Do you say envelope or envelope? I'm really curious how you say it. Is it like envelope or envelope? Not envelope. There's no, there is no in. There's envelope. So it's envelope or in. <laughs> now I can't say. Now it all sounds weird to me. I don't even know what I say anymore. Instructions. And let's check out this first one here. It says, thank you. Have a merry day. Really still hard to see. We have a platter. Okay, festive looking type platter because there's little snowflakes. Next one here says chill out. There's already a tear over here, but we're going to just open it normally. What are you? Okay, so we have glaze. Interesting. So in order to make our chicken or turkey, I don't know why I keep calling it chicken. I, I don't like turkey. I'm not a big fan of the taste of turkey, but let's remove this because I feel like the nutritional facts are hiding. Yes. It says bowls of fun, sunshine, and warm hugs. Okay, interesting. I didn't think of glaze to have hugs, but we'll roll with it. But this packaging is pretty cute. I like that. Next one here should be the utensil. So I'm guessing there should be a, is that a spoon? What? A silicone brush and it actually is bendy. Okay, I like that. And then we have, what is all this? What? Okay, we have the tongs. The usual clip for the outside of the box, which we don't care about. Oh, and these are the little covers for the chicken legs. The little bone nibs knobs. Nibby knobs. This is pretty chunky, so I'm guessing this is where... I'm calling it chicken. Listen, if I say chicken or turkey, just, just choose the one you like. And that's the one I meant to say. This is Happy Holidays. And you are the poultry. Okay, and it says turkey, I think. I'm pretty sure. It says Happy Farms. And it looks like it's a turkey based on this. All shrink wrapped and stuff. Okay. Aha. And I have to say the shading on this is absolutely phenomenal. It really does look like a roast turkey. I was about to say duck. It's a roast turkey. Love it. The shading is different depending on what is the high point and then the lower point. Really, really cool. And over here, I'm not sure what we would get. What's missing? Do we have like stuffings or what is that? Carrots? Get out of here. We have carrots in three different colors. Let's take these out because these are dosh garn darn adorable. Dosh garn darn adorable. Did I say that again? Oh, and it even has like the nutritional facts. We have a bunch of joy, crunchy goodness, and total fun. And even the wrapping itself looks like the top part of the carrot kind of bunched up. Let's get you open and take out these adorable carrots. My goodness, my goodness. And here's what the carrots look like. They even have the little texture of the skin where they're lined to look like actual carrots. That is pretty neat. All right, now that we have everything, let's go ahead and see what we need to do. So here we have the roasted turkey instructions. And from what it looks like is we will cover the feet, we're going to glaze it, and then we're also just going to put the carrots all the way around. So it is basically a very basic project. <laughs> that's all it is. It says add the stuff, glaze it, and then harden it. That's, that's all it is. That's all. Interesting. Wait, it's true. We did get an envelope. What is, oh, happy holidays. Cute. Does it open? It opens, but there's nothing. 100% merry. Okay, we get a tiny card. If you ever want to gift something to someone who said, don't get anything big for me, just go literally. <laughs> All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and put the little feet things so it doesn't burn it. This is so weird. That's an awkward detail to add in there, but okay. I don't know how to put these on. I've never used these before. Is this right? Am I doing okay? Let's pretend I did do okay. This is crooked. Let's just pretend it's okay, okay? Let's check out what this glaze is all about. I'm guessing it's going to be another twisty. Voila. Yeah, it's kind of like a honey type color. And we're gonna have to pour this right on top. Let's do that now. Oh, this is definitely way better. Definitely way better than the hot chocolate. So I'm gonna just take my silicon brush. This is kind of satisfying. A very glazed turkey. Interesting. This is so weird. This is so shiny. Oh my goodness. Do I need to do the under part? I don't think I do. Let's turn you around, add a little bit more. See, this is what the hot chocolate should have been. Come on, don't be shy. I gave you a compliment. Don't don't make me look like a liar. Come on. I think they have a problem with this set. And the, oh, oh, there we go. Okay, I take it back. They had a problem with the, the hot chocolate. Now right, we're gonna glaze at the legs. And hold this, the feet and glaze it over here. Get all the little nooks and crannies. That looks scrumptious. 
I think this looks pretty good. It's a really basic project, and I have to say for $15, we're really not getting much in terms of playability here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of this glaze on the edges, like a so, just so that the carrots have something to stick onto. So we're gonna put this like a so, voila, very glazed. And we're gonna go ahead and drop our carrots, like a so, turn you around, and use our other carrots, voila. Is that it? I think that is it. That is all they want from us, but I'm gonna add a little extra detail. But first, let's harden it. And here is the turkey all glazed. This is looking really, really good. Again, very simple project. Not sure I'm crazy about this, but let's add a tiny bit detail. And I kind of like the fact that we have the brush here. So maybe we can just make the brush kind of standing up. And to do that, I'm just gonna add a little bit, oh my goodness, of this glaze, a nice thick, layer at the junction of the thigh and i'm gonna hold the brush like so and we're gonna harden that voila hopefully it works but then again it's silicon so it might not stick oops and so i added a little bit more of that glaze around the leg and hoped for the best and it seems like it did take which is absolutely phenomenal curious to know what you think and now for the gingerbread house. Now I have to say, at least we were right. So far, everything that we thought was going to be on the inside is exactly what the outside showed us. So let's hope this is a better project because I have to say these holiday versions were less interesting than the Halloween ones and they really could do way more. Miniverse, if you need a consultant, hire me. I promise I will make you great things. Great ideas in this noggin. Very smart. But so far, I don't feel like I'm getting my $15 worth in every one of these projects. I just feel like I'm not getting my money's worth in terms of fun. Very nice. Got it. Of course, I feel like I have to cut these open. Otherwise, it's really difficult to just kind of beg it to work. Let's hear that pop. Nice. We have one, two, get rid of these, three, four, five, six surprises. And of course the instruction guides. And we have a doily for the Mac. So let's see what we get. Our first surprise here says chill out. Oh, what is that? A nozzle. And it looks like we have a glaze. Okay, let's remove the sticker. Now let's get a lot closer here because I can't see what's written. It says sunshine, vitamin, fun, and total smiles. But we do have a glaze with a nozzle, so we'll get there when we get there. This is a chunky box. And you are, oh, we have the gingerbread house kit. And here's what it looks like all the way around. That is a really cute box. Loving this. Okay, let's see what's written in the back. Holiday cheer, ginger breadiness, coziness, and total joy. And let's see what we have in this. Oh my, oh my goodness, that is a whole kit. We actually have to build the entire thing. Okay, that is cool. I like that. See, this is where we're getting more interesting, but it looks like everyone's only gonna buy this one and then the whole shelves are just gonna be the turkey and the non chocolatey chocolate drink. It's not even a drink anymore, it's just syrup. <laughs> All right, let's put you back in because we don't want to lose pieces. Next here, we have the thank you for your have a merry day. You are. Okay, we have a shelf kind of thing. This one is all scrunchy. Are we getting decorations? No. We have whipped cream. I'm not sure why it's green, but I guess we're gonna find out. And let's bring this closer for the non-nutritional facts. This is going to be really hard to read. We have fluffiness and total joy. Actually, let's see what's inside. Oh, they're tiny. Okay, they're tiny dollops of whipped cream. That's cute. Voila. Are we going to get gingerbread or gumdrop buttons? I feel like there's something missing here. What is this? We have gumdrops. Is that it? Is that it? Every time I see or hear of gumdrops, this is the scene I remember from Shrek. No, not the buttons. Not my gumdrop buttons. And here's what they look like. Let's pull you out. This is a little baggy. Just stuff my finger in there. Come on. There you go. Oh my goodness. They actually look like they have tiny bits of sugar on them. Look at that. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. Very gummy-esque. I love this. I really wish they would have added gingerbread people, but maybe they did and we didn't see it yet. And last but not least, we have the utensils, which in this case is a spreader. And we have the tongs and the cap holder. So let's take a look at what the project is like. Here it shows gingerbread house, and this is what it should look like. Let's pull this out. 
And basically it's saying to actually put it together, then put the glaze, spread it a little bit, put the whipped cream and gumdrops, and then harden it. So it is a one step type project. And it looks like we can put a mixture of the gumdrops and the whipped cream a little bit of everywhere. I'm curious if we have enough glaze to actually make the entire roof just fully covered. But you know what? Only one way to find out. Let's put it together. All right, so let's see all the tiny components. This is so cute. All right, so here's the front. I'm guessing this is the base side. Another side? Just to be very clear, I am not good with puzzles. Never claimed I was good with puzzles. So I'm doing my best here. I am not sure. I'm going to guess these go together, right? Yes, they do. This is something. Okay, this is the other side. Yes, yes. So far, so good. This is the other side in the back, right? Yes. I could do many things, just not puzzles, okay? We each have our talents and our weaknesses and putting things together like Ikea is just not the thing I do ever. Maybe once in my life, but that was it. Okay, so we don't have a bottom here. We just kind of, oh, that's the other side. Just kind of put it together like this, okay? And then like this, voila, we're on the right path here. I feel like this is gonna get messy, so I don't know if the mat that they gave us is enough, but we're gonna work with what we have. And here's hoping the glaze they gave us is actually not too thick, but thick enough so that we can squeeze it out. The bottles that we got are really hard, so if you do have any kind of chronic pains, this is not fun time. Not water, not one so, what? not one so bit. <laughs> can't even talk anymore. Let's open you, remove you. Looks to be a good thickness. And like us so. So from what I can tell, it looks like we can put gumdrops and whipped cream on the top part of the roof. And that's kind of the first place I want to go just to kind of glue everything together. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on. Squeeze. Come on. You can do it. This thing. Oh my god. Well, it is already leaking, so it will look like a real gingerbread house. Voila. Let's do a little bit here too. Like so. I'm guessing you should be allowed to decorate it how you want. So we're just gonna hope that this thing does not fall apart. Voila. Gumdrops and the whipped cream. And you know what? I still have sprinkles from the first project. So we're gonna put everything over here and over here. That's good enough. And let's put a gumdrop at the front. No, 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 no gumdrop. You stay there. Cute. I'm gonna put a pink one. Stay, dosh darn darn nabbit. Yes, but y'all getting wonky. I do not want wonky. And then a red one. Cute. Absolutely adorable. And I think I want... <laughs> Grabbing these things is a challenge. I want a pink one here. Cute. Do not slide down. I'm gonna put another one here. Don't you slide. Everything is sliding. Everything is wonky. Do not touch with your fingers. Don't be a Jackie. I'm gonna freeze it here. Do not go wonky. We're gonna do this and we're gonna save progress because this is... This is slippery. This is very slippery. So if there's anything I learned from the first go around is don't put too much of the frosting too fast because it's just going to basically harden too quickly. So I think we're going to put some here because this needs to kind of glue together and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put at the joints like a so. Very cute. And then the other side over here. This is really challenging. This is really cha Oh goodness. There you go. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> Freezing this. All right, so let's let's try to go one step at a time. So we're gonna go up here. And I don't want it to be melty, but it's gonna be melty. And let's just try to get those gumdrops and those whipped creams where we can. Oh gosh, no, no, stay. See, this is one of the times where it would have been nice to actually have something a little thicker. I wouldn't have said no to that. Oh gosh, you know what? <laughs> you gotta go what you gotta have. Let's go. Let's save that. It's just melty. And basically I'm trying the same exact thing on the other side. I'm not going to try and make this symmetrical because it's just way too goopy. I don't know how I managed, but apparently I made a spiky house. <laughs> I made a spiky house. I think this is where I want to go in with the sprinkles. And I want to add them at the top over here. Voila. And then we're going to add it around the edge of the actual roof. I feel like everything else is just way too finicky. So we're going to add our sprinkles. Kind of already looks pretty good. I don't know how someone would do this with sunlight, especially we are very lucky to use UV light. If I were doing this under sunlight, it would be an absolute disaster. I don't think this project would work well under sunlight. You absolutely need a UV light. And now that the top of the roof looks great, let's do the border around the actual roof and add more of those sprinkles. I think these sprinkles just came in clutch. And obviously the show of the star is the UV light, 100%. Did I say show of the star? Kitty editor, did that mess up? What did I say? I don't remember. The show of the star is 
And so here is our gingerbread house. I really feel like this is a absolutely adorable project, but again, not one that can be used with just sun. It's just not gonna work with sun. It's just gonna be goopy everywhere. But it was fun, it was relaxing. I probably could spend more time adding the tiny gumdrops one at a time, but I get it. I see the project. Let me know what you think. And here are all three of them all done. Again, some of these holiday ones seem a little bit more cheaply done, maybe a little bit of a rush to make them. So if I really had to say if you should get these or not, my personal opinion, again, I can't control you tell you what to do, but I would say no. I would say skip on these if you had to enjoy the video. <laughs> But they definitely have a lot of work to do. Reminder that a portion of today's video was sponsored by Dragon City. Check the link down below or this QR code to start collecting, trading, and evolving your very own dragons. Which one of these is your favorite? For me, the drink is aesthetically pleasing, but the gingerbread house was the most fun to do. So I'm curious to know your opinions. Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to watch more crafty videos, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch something a little different like mystery boxes, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.